So I don't think it's any secret that there is an entire genre of YouTube content dedicated to explaining why we don't enjoy gaming anymore. And in particular, a lot of this genre has been dedicated to RPGs or the MMORPG genre in general. I think I might have made one or two videos on this channel that might sort of fall into that, but in general, I haven't touched on it. But today, I want to give my own take on it for two reasons. One, I feel I've had a bit of an epiphany on it for me personally. And two, I am sick as crap and I can't make proper videos. I've had a few like good videos or what I hope will be good videos in the works for a while now. I'm, I'm so sick. I can't figure out what's wrong with me. Let me tell you something, administration. You know that little shot you gave me for the flu? Yes. Well, it worked. I've got it. <laughs> um, everyone around me has this virus and I'm just like, it's like I can get out of bed, do my work, and then I go back to sleep. It's, it's really rough. Anyways, so this is the only video I can put out today, but I, th I, th I think it's kind of interesting. Um, because it's the only um, thing that I can explain as to why I still love the classic MMORPGs that I do and why I don't love others that maybe I should. So, so, sorry. So, give, give, sorry, give me a chance to break this down. The brain, the brain is not at 100% capacity today. So I really love playing on private servers, uh, partly for the selfish reason that I don't like giving large companies who I no longer trust to own their own IPs money because you can basically play EverQuest now and buy gear with the Chrono token. Yes, I'm guilty of that. Yeah, I did it for years. So give me what I want, not what I asked for. Hey, Ginger, put a clamp on his mouth. Uh, you can do the same thing on World of Warcraft. No, I never did that on World of Warcraft because I don't care about World of Warcraft enough to try to be paid to win on it. I do care enough about EverQuest to do that. But either way, even our treasured old school MMOs have become pay to win. So I enjoy private servers. I play a lot of EverQuest private servers. I play World of Warcraft private servers. I play Return to Reckoning. All the private servers, I played them. And uh, if you want more videos on private servers, let me know because I'm thinking about doing that more on the server. It's one of the things that makes me happy. Anyways, so I'm playing on this new private server that's recently launched for EverQuest. And, um, and I only discovered it because I was looking at the numbers for the other private servers. Like, Where did everybody go? I feel left out. And so I discovered this new private server called uh, Quorum. Uh, it's by the Alcabor Project. I'll, I'll do I'll do another video on that. And I don't I don't want to bother you with the details. This is about another another topic. God, the brain's just not working today. So, um, I started on that server. It's a very old version of EverQuest. And that, the very old versions of EverQuest, they are hard as freaking nails. When you start the game, if, if you're a character, you might just not be able to kill any, any level 1 mobs or level 2 mobs. You just might have to ask someone to help you get from level 1 to level 2 so that you can actually start farming on your own. The game is that harsh in the very, very early versions of EverQuest. It is rough. Rough, rough, rough. So, I sound like a dog now. God, the brain today. Anyways. So I'm, I'm farming outside of Quenos Hills, and uh, I notice there's another dude farming. And so uh, we start chatting. And I said, hey, you want a group? I really need some help here. You know, I'm a druid. I expect to be strong, but I need a few more levels to keep going. He's like, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, but my, my brother's coming with my truck because i got to get to the construction site soon. But you got about 25 minutes. Maybe I can help you get up another level. And so we get to chatting. And uh, it turns out that we're both born in the same hospital in North Georgia from the same town long before I ever moved to England and became this uh, weird transatlantic hybrid that I now exist as on YouTube. And I, I got to thinking when I was, was, was just chatting with him and just killing mobs. For those of you that don't know EverQuest, early game EverQuest is basically walk towards monster, press button, kill. It's a very simple game in many respects. But what struck me from the experience was that old school EverQuest was a success because it was a social social blah, 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 social sphere. I mean, that's what made old school EverQuest great. Was that back in the days of the early internet, what did you have to talk to people on? You had MSN Messenger. I mean, that came along a little bit later. And who are you gonna add to that? You had very early online forums, which are very, very different than they are today. Online forums today are mostly people making troll posts, a 
a few helpful people saying things and then a lot of nonsense between. But back in the day, there were a lot of people that really just wanted to make friends on the internet. And back in the day, I always used to thought that was, think that was sort of pathetic. And I sort of looked down on myself for having so many online friendships. Whereas now I look back on it and I think, no, I, I actually got to know a lot of cool people. Um, even if I fell out with those people for various reasons um, later on in life, whether it be gaming drama or uh, who knows what else, you know, I might never have gone on to do a PhD in philosophy had I never gamed with a dude that did advanced logic. I might never have done a lot of other things had I never met the people that I met gaming online as a as a teen it did have a, a huge impact on on who I became okay so so getting back to the point of the video one of the reasons I think and people don't enjoy MMORPGs as much as they used to is that like it or not MMORPGs used to be the glorified version of Club Penguin or what was it? The Beatles Hab Hasbro Hotel. And there was also one. And my favorite one was there was this one for the Beatles where you could just like hang out with other people that loved the Beatles. And when I was like, this is like very early days of the internet. I was so obsessed with the Beatles. And you could just hang out in this place, just talk about the Beatles. And then like the Beatles would occasionally play their songs on the stage. Anyways, early days of the internet. It was very, very, very weird. These were not by any means good games. Also, Club Penguin. If you've not seen Four Lions, check it out. That has Club Penguin in it. But what are you doing? It's the middle of the night. What is that? It's a puffin party. A what? It's a puffin party. A puffin party. We're talking to Wadge's puffin. Oh my, what are you talking about? It's the boys. I've left them. Right now, Hassan's puffin won't talk to me. Wadge's puffin just told me to piss off. Barry's puffins turned all red and he's hiding under the pirate hat. The, the point is the early days of the internet had these these places that were sort of gamified, but they weren't really games. They were meant to be places for you to enjoy engaging with other people over the internet. That was it. And modern day MMOs have entirely lost that. And the attitude of a lot of players, particularly from the younger generations, the people that are more in their 20s right now, early 20s right now, rather than the, in their late 30s, 40s, 50s, has changed around how MMOs are supposed to work. Um, to give a, an example, so I used to be in a sort of League of Legends clan, right? And our oldest member, I think, was me. Yeah, it was me. And then our youngest member is like was like, I don't know, at the time, like 15 and I was gaming with him once, it's 15 years later now, and he's old, sort of, as well. He won't like me saying that, but yeah, you're old now, dude, as well. Um, and we were playing through an MMO, and I said, oh, we should just chill out and enjoy it. And he, he shouts back at me, no, we will optimize everything, you stupid old man. <laughs> and and it, it, it shows the, the generational difference, right? Because my view of MMOs has always been uh, to sort of enjoy the journey and to try and make as many friends along the way and just kind of, you know, uh, uh, that's my, that's why I want to play the game. Is I, I want to play the game for the sociality of it, not for the min-maxing of it. I mean, I want to min-max because I don't want to lose in that way. But I also value the games for their, for their uh, social aspects. And, and this is something that, has really been completely lost on younger generations and that's why that's why mmorpgs are dying mmorpgs are dying and becoming less popular especially with younger generations not because they're too complicated or because they have too long of a time sink but because they are social games in a world where a lot of people from that generation really don't seem to know how to socialize online or they feel that it's a weakness or they just feel that it gets in the way of optimizing something that should be optimized. And it really is uh, just a sea change in gaming. And you can see why they think that, right? Because if you grow up playing ranked 
in League of Legends, and you grow up playing ranked in Valorant, and you go up playing ranked in CSGO, when you finally come to play an MMORPG, even a classical one, maybe even on a private server, you're going to approach it with the same mathematical precision and logic rather than just as a way to make friends because, I mean, you could do that on dating websites in a much more fun way if you wanted to. And that, sorry, after this very long rant, is the real reason why MMORPGs have suffered so much lately. In the end, they were really places to make friends, as pathetic as it sounds. That's what they were for. And the people that want to do that are old enough probably to have their own friends. They pop on occasionally and they move on. And with that, the MMO just kind of continues to fade. 